Destiny is Chocolate Performed by the writer Dean Bradford Hope you enjoy Today is December and the weather is extremely cold with rain charging down and wind blowing in our face and for one man Life was about to show him how to get to know his true feelings. His name is Wayne. As he's left everything to the last minute as usual, he decided that he would surprise his girlfriend as she gets off a train. So, as he goes to the Main Street shops, they all start closing their shutters. As a woman of the flower shop was bringing down the shutters with a stick, Wayne asks, Please, please, may I buy some flowers? The woman said, Sorry, we're closed now. Wayne then pointed at the opening and closing times by the shutters and said, You have still got five minutes left before you close. Please let me buy some flowers or I shall report you, he said. The woman of the shop then left the shutter half pulled down and ducked under and grabbed a bunch of red tulips and said, Here, don't report this. Please take these. She was then worried and began to stutter. Wayne then hands over a £10 note as she waved her palms left and right and said no, don't worry, it's fine in a bit of a panicking stutter Anyway, as he only had a short time to wait till his girlfriend arrives he didn't want to hang about so he just said thank you very much and I hope you have a Merry Christmas She was just finishing pulling down the shutter when she turned and gave what looked like a fake smile. As Wayne made his way to the train station, there stood a festive stall full of wonderful gifts. Wayne is drawn towards a stall only by the wonderful colours. As he browses the items, the lady behind the stall asks, I know what you need. She goes behind the stalls, curtains, and pulls out a large box. Printed on the box was, Destiny is Chocolate. And the main colour of the box was golden purple, like two-tone texture you see on cars. There was a, also a huge red metallic ribbon binding the box. As the lady hands over the box, she says, This isn't any ordinary box of chocolates. This box will guide you where your heart is meant to be. Wayne then pictured his girlfriend in his mind, smiling at him when he, she sees him hand over the chocolates and flowers. How much is that? said Wayne. The lady smiled with a genuine gesture of goodwill and said, 45 pounds? Wayne was still thinking about his surprise and didn't argue about the price and just paid and said, Merry Christmas. Oh no, the train has already arrived. It's a bit early. So Wayne made a, made haste and ran. Wayne looks up and down the platform and watches as the water splashes from the rain. The reflection of the train within the puddles on the platform and his magical imagination running wild. Suddenly, a break in the drainage system causes the rain to suddenly 
drizzle down right in front of Wayne. He narrowly misses it and just manages to catch balance. And, and before his eyes, he is surprised when he sees something he didn't expect. His girlfriend started walking towards a wall, but he notices a man walk away from the wall towards his girlfriend and they both start kissing and hugging. Wayne was silent and just paused a moment. He was so upset that he walked under the water pool and let the water splash over him. As he tried to focus his mind, he realises it's really cold and he started to get a chill. He looked towards a waiting room that was looking quite empty, just like his heart felt at that moment. As soon as he got into the waiting room, he walked over to the table and placed his chocolates on the table and clicked the switch on the wall for the heater. As he sits there feeling sorry for himself, looking towards the heavy rain beating down, he decides to open the chocolates and indulge himself to maybe help him not feel bad. As Wayne always loved chocolate when it was raining outside, as this seemed to be the only way to reach his own comfort zone. So Wayne pulls away the nice ribbon and lifts off the lid and sees an amazing collection of gold foil wrapped chocolates. He then starts eating them, unpeeling the foil and cracking into the chocolate into soft fondant centre. They were so addictive too. After one followed another and so on. Strangely, they didn't seem filling at all. It didn't seem to feel like it was reaching the stomach. Only could feel the texture in the mouth until it seemed to evaporate as it went down the throat. She wasn't wrong about these not being like other boxes of chocolates. After about 10 minutes, Wayne had just eaten the whole tray. He still felt like eating more, a whole lot more. So he lifts up the tray and notices another tray of chocolates. And he is relieved to know this so that he could get stuck into the next layer. And so on, and on to the next layer, and the next. Two hours later, Wayne has, Wayne has got through seven layers of chocolates, and then stops and th th to think. This box is only about an inch thick, and yet I've eaten seven trays full of chocolates. As he looks inside the box, and notice that it's deeper inside than it is on the outside, when he looks from the side, with his head tilted sideways, he puts his hand in the box until he could feel the next tray. Wayne was amazed to find that his arm went nowhere and this fascinated him even more. So Wayne started getting trays out of the box and piling them up all over the waiting room. The box size was so wide he could crawl in side. Also the gravity in the box was different than what he expected. When he crawled into the box he would not fall. It was like he was crawling on the floor but downwards. Wayne got a rhythm of flow going getting out yet more trays and more trays. 
by now the waiting room had about 150 trays of chocolates stacked up all over the place then he started to feel a bit tired and decided to lay there a moment in the cardboard tunnel thinking what he was doing was crazy as he lays there in the dark he can hear a shuffling sound coming from the other side of the of the wall of chocolates He is now feeling a bit of tension now as he lifts his head to face the trees and then a light seemed to shine around and through the trees it got brighter and brighter and then suddenly the tray seemed to fall inwards then the bright light shined di- directly into Wayne's face then the light was lowered. There was a back light casting the woman's shape towards him. Wayne asks, hello, what brings you here? She then replies, wow, you talk English and you look just like us. Wayne said, you speak just like people where I live. She says, I had the box given to me from my ex-boyfriend who only bought these as a way of saying he's seen somebody else and he's leaving me. That was very upsetting. Wayne told her that he bought the chocolates for his girlfriend who ended up seeing somebody else. So in a way, we both have had the same in common. So what is your name? Sandra. And what is yours? My name is Wayne. Nice to meet you, Wayne. Fancy coming round to my place for a drink. Wayne looked back at it himself and noticed a long tunnel behind him and said, Oh yes, yeah, sure. We go to your place. So Wayne crawls forward as she crawled backwards until they came out into a pink filled room of hearts and stuffed toys and posters on the wall. Wayne then asks, may I just take a look outside your window? Sure, go ahead, said Sandra. As he looked out the window, he noticed that he's in the same town as Sandra. Chocolates must have came from the same lady at the store. And yes, the lady was right when she said this box will guide you where your heart is meant to be. And they both lived happily ever after. What happened to the box, you may be thinking? Well, there was a clever idea that Wayne had. He sent one of the boxes to China to his friend Ni, the amazing cook who can make the most amazing meals ever. Now Ni can cook and send his great food straight through the portal so he can treat his girlfriend to only the best and maybe have a few sakis and gambays with his friend too. Hope you enjoyed this story. Please take a look at my index and watch one of my other spoken words. Thank you for watching or listening. Thank you.